Alright, so by the way, we're Wooly Mammoth Gaming. Who are we? Wooly Mammoth Gaming. That, game, that name is dumb, let's change it. Just kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> we're, really? We're the, your Wooly Mammoth crew here, and we are, we are gonna play this game. You guys are gonna see us so good at Star Fox. You're gonna get wet. Out I don't there. know why. <laughs> You're gonna be like. I don't know why I keep saying we because I'm just sitting here providing commentary. Okay, JD has done hours upon hours upon hours of research about Star Fox 64, <laughs> and she's gonna sprinkle in knowledge throughout this let's play. You're so full. <laughs> I've never had an N64. So I've never played Star Fox. That's true. I handed I've you. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never played it. That's true, I handed you the controller at one point earlier yesterday, and you're like, what is this? How do I hold this I know, this that thing? controller's weird. <laughs> the, un the, the, the tri didn't like pitchfork, upside down pitchfork Upside controller. down pitchfork. It's oh a trident. <laughs> a trident, there you go. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, I think the only time I've ever played Star Fox was actually when they used to have um, Blockbuster golfing games. I don't know if that was something that was everywhere in the uh, States, but that was kind of like a, um, an arcade place, but they also had miniature golf. We did, definitely did not have that in Detroit. Okay. There's no so, you You just said Blockbuster golfing games, and I was like, huh? Like Blockbuster, the video rental yeah, place? Yeah, the video rental place. The place that would charge you. So is that what they did with all their late fees? They opened up a miniature golf place? <laughs> like we charge yeah, every they, customer yep. $6,000 in late fees. So let's use that to open a golf course. Yeah, oh, in, no. it was miniature Ooh, was golf. Close. and. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Style points. Oh, jeez. Somebody's showing up. Oh, my God. I can do it again. Oh, no. I missed. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Because you're talking so much shit. <laughs> But no. But yeah, that was the only time I believe I played it. They had it in some kind of a machine or something. You sat in this spacecraft thing, and that's how you played it. It was like a little interactive. So the thing you were sitting on moved, oh, and it looked like a spaceship. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it was um, expensive to play. It was but, like. Um, but we all feel bad that you had a terrible childhood because you didn't have an N64, and you know, well, I, I mean. Never had a, like, oh, I just crashed into that thing. I mean, Sega Genesis and yeah, then PlayStation yeah, 1. So. Whatever. I mean, okay, but you didn't have this, the greatest console of all time. You know, they did a survey of the greatest console of all times, and the N64 was not the greatest console of all time. I, yeah, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. The, I, I mean, I think PS4, I remember reading it saying it wasn't that. I believe the PS1 outsold the N64 like yeah. 3 to 1. But you know what? I love it. We had it as a kid. We didn't. We weren't. We weren't Sony kids. We were Nintendo kids, and we played a lot of this game and a lot of other games. Mario 64. We played GoldenEye 007. Oh my God, such beauty! Look at these graphics, man. Look at these graphics. Look at these trees that I can shoot and they explode. Why are you look doing that to trees? Look at these water skating robots. Aren't they cool? And look at this. I can do another somersault and get this bomb. So here's the secret. This is the walkthrough part. If you slide through all of these little gates down here, you get like a little secret. I'll show you. Okay, go ahead. So this is where I need to explain. I know everyone knows Star Fox. Everyone's like, you don't need to explain this to me, George. I know what you're talking about. But JD is new to Star Fox, so she doesn't know. But every level has two ways to beat it. There's the hard way and the easy way. Oopsie. Oh, ignore what I just did there. That did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 if you do the hard way, which is this way, by, by flying through those gates, I get to go to a different exit and go to a different level after I beat it. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, this, is, this is not entirely my first time seeing this because I've been seeing you play this. Oh yeah, I've been practicing. You've been practicing. Which is hard to tell by the way I'm playing, but... Yeah, look at this little, off. like crocodile thing. I'm not sure. Could you explain to me what that thing was? I mean, it, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. It's oh, like that's a, Peppy Head. Uh, it's a like a, a dinosaur slash crocodile Maybe slash a, snake or something. Maybe he's a dinosaur. Let's see. <laughs> it's like... Uh, yeah, oh, and he's got like a cap on his head or something. Maybe he's Jewish. I don't know. He's got to go... <laughs> He can he can take over the world, but not on Saturdays. He's got. <laughs> <laughs> or unless there's a holiday too. Oh yeah. Oh my God! Look, this guy's so easy. He, look, he's like a, he's just a little punk, man. He's, <laughs> I didn't take much. Oh my God! Like like nothing. Watch me destroy his ass. Boom! Bomb! Look at that! I forgot you can shoot bombs, by the way. 
Isn't that a cool thing? I kind of wasted there because I don't really need a bomb to kill this dumb. This dumb dumb. Oh my god, look at this. Boom! So stop Take wasting the bomb. Save for the next save. one. We are Star Fox. Star graphics Fox. are pretty cool though. These, these were definitely the best graphics at the time when this game came out. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, it's on the track, so it's like, it's not like they have Whoa. made an entire 3D world. You're actually kind of, in a way, you're kind of on a track. But, you know what was a big thing about this game? What's that? It was the vibration, baby. First game with a vibrating <laughs> uh, control. Us girls know about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they sold so many N64s just because women, like the moms of kids, were putting N64 controllers in their... <laughs> I didn't even finish that. I'm not going to finish that. It was, this was the first game to feature the Rumble Pack. Oh, okay. First vibrating controller. I, I remember game. when this game came out, they were making such a big stink of it. And it was funny because I thought it was so silly. I was like, oh, the controller rumbles, big deal. But then, like, when you play it, it is kind of cool when the controller vibrates. Adds to the whole um, immersive uh, play, yeah. right? Okay, so as you can see, this is the map to get from our start at Corneria to Venom, which is the greenish planet all the way at the end. Does it got so, gas around it? Yeah, it was it's a gassy stinky. planet. See, I can even rotate it. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, it's like being um, in a planetarium. But we could either go, see how that route is red? That means it's hard. But what I can do is I can change course and I can go the easier route, which I think this first playthrough, I'm going to do the easiest route and then we'll do some of the harder levels on this next on another playthrough after I practice some more. So that's what I was saying that every level, you could, if you beat it the professional way, professional you, could, you could go to the harder levels, but if you beat it the standard way, you go to the regular levels. So that's the plan? Like you're gonna do all the plays? Mm, yeah, so there's okay. easy, medium, and hard. So I'm gonna start with the easy because you know what? I need to build up my confidence. I need to be like... Uh, <laughs> okay. Because the hard is actually does get kind of hard towards the end. And I'm a little out of practice. And you can't save this, like you said, right? No saving, baby. We're playing on a real N64, so this ain't no emulator. This ain't no, like, oh, I screwed up. Let me just rewind it and go back. This is legit N64, so pressure's on me. I need to stop talking. I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting <laughs> nervous. I don't know if nervous? I can... You've been practicing, man. Thank Haven't you. you got this yet? Thank you for a vote of confidence, I think. I think that was a vote of confidence. <laughs> it was more like a question, like, don't you like have I, this by now? A kind of like, you better do this, because I'm not, not wasting my I, time I here with a loser. I wasn't saying it as a inspirational, like, you have this. No, don't you have this? No, there's a difference, see? Yeah, yeah, tone of voice. Me. It's all about the tone. Yeah. So this is the asteroid field. Again, Star Wars influences. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's a line from a movie too. Be careful, it's a trap. It's quiet, that's also too quiet. De that's like dead from Star Wars, right? Be careful, it's a trap. <laughs> that was Admiral Ackbar. He was a character that had that so was super memorable from one line <laughs> in the movie. Was you always quoting that? Because you notice it. He's my favorite Star Wars character. Have I not told you <laughs> when I had the Star Wars tr trading cards, I collected the Admiral Ackbar card. <laughs> <laughs> really? Whenever I would play Star Wars Rogue Squadron, I would always pick Admiral Ackbar as my character. <laughs> That's another game we need to play for the N64 is um, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. It was probably the closest game, or the, the game that came the closest to being like Star Fox in terms of like gameplay and graphics. Okay. So Use like the when the N64 came out, was this like their, their game? Their, uh... So this came a few the months after the N64. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oof, oh. that was close. I used up my boost. <laughs> you almost got squished like a roach. Location confirmed. Die, die, die. You gotta only, you only kill these guys when they're facing towards you. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so the N64, the big, the, the, the N64 seller was the Mario 64. That came out. Oh yeah, when we just played. Yeah, and then there's Pilot. Oh my god, we should play Pilot Wings. That game is so dumb. <laughs> it was like one of the Pilot first Wings? Yeah, Pilot Wings 64. That sounds familiar, Pilot Wings. Isn't that an Pilot older game? Wings. There was one for the Super Nintendo, and then they were like, which was also not particularly good, and they're like, we gotta take this game. <laughs> it was more of like a, a tech demo as opposed to a game. It was like, look oh, what okay. these 3D graphics could do. 
I never understood it as a kid because you had to like land like it was like you were in like a um, a hang glider and you had to land it on a certain spot and the closer you got to the spot the more points you would get. Oh, okay. So, Sounds it was like okay. an Atari game. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Atari. But but the Atari you couldn't handle these the graphics. Bar. Look how beautiful this is. Well, yeah, obviously how, the technology oh, wasn't there. I didn't, this actually kind of looks like the Atari, the, 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 the geometric shapes that sometimes you see in this game. <laughs> right, oh, right, those jagged you... edges. This is the that famous... Barrel roll. Yeah, the famous do a barrel roll. I guess it's your turn to be thankful. Oh my god. There's a lot going on here. Falco is such a smartass. Everyone hates him. Don't, <laughs> don't say anything. But even Slippy, who's like kind of annoying, is better than Falco. Everyone's like, oh, Falco. He thinks he's like Han Solo, but he's just an annoying pain in the ass is what he is. He's a prick. I, yeah, he's, he's, were you about to say he's a prick? Yeah. He's a prick. That's a good That's description. That's what I said, man. You know what I think? This is my 100% original opinion. I think he's a prick. <laughs> what do you, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, never mind what I just said. <laughs> were, were you saying something? You're like listening. silencing women here, silencing me. Oh, uh, wait, don't talk for a second. I have something to say. <laughs> uh, I kid, I kid, I kid. So these are warped. If you get all six of these, you can go to... This is how you get the other, like, hard level out of this one. You gotta hit... It's super hard to hit all of them. This last one is a pain in the ass. Oh, I got it. Woo! Warp speed! Oh, my God. This. I don't know what you're talking about Star Wars influence. I don't see it. <laughs> go! I've actually haven't done this in a while. Uh, okay, I think you just gotta not get hit by this stuff. Whoa! This is kind of like the, smack into it. Yeah, this is kind of like the mm. part in Spaceballs where they go plaid. Do you, you remember that? Where, uh, <laughs> where? Uh, oh God damn! Dark, dark helmet. I hate it when I can't remember things. Ooh, it says N64. That's a cool thing. <gasps> Look at all these bombs! I only got one. What are these Easter eggs? Oh my god. I feel like I'm tripping balls right now. Well, both JD and I did mushrooms before playing this game, so we don't know if this is real or not. <laughs> is it? Ridiculous. Are we even sitting here playing N64 or are we laying in a bed? Are we just in some different planet altogether? Maybe we like got shot in Vietnam and we're on our deathbed and we're just hallucinating all this. Like the movie Jacob's Ladder. That's a creepy movie. That is. That, the influence for Silent Hill. You know that video game Silent Hill? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you could see um, certain characters in that movie, like the way the ghosts look was an influence for Silent Hill. Really? The way they made their like little demons and ghosts in that, mo in that game. Oh, bombs, interesting. Bombs, bombs. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these Easter eggs. Oh my god. I've only seen that movie once. What was that, days? A couple of years ago with you? Yeah, I had that really good actor in there. I can't remember the name. Who that guy named? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy he was the one Shawshank. in yeah, Shawshank. Tim. Tim Roth. No. No. Tim Roth is the one from the other Tim Tarantino movies. Yeah, Tim Robbins. Tim, Tim Robbins. T Tim Family Robinson. The Return of Tim Family. <laughs> <Robinson>. <laughs> I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's Tim Robbins. I think, I think it's right. Tim Robbins. It's Tim the Toolman Taylor. Um, <laughs> Okay, so cool. So we warped to this. Where are we? So again, I'm going to change course because I want to keep doing the easy levels. So yeah, we could have gotten to that planet up there in the, the middle. The red one? And that's the, that's the medium path through the middle. So the bottom path is easy. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to stick to the easy path this time because, you know. Chicken. You know what? <laughs> I don't need this abuse from you. Roger, General. No, stop the recording. Roger, Roger. I don't. I. 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 I don't like you say these things to me. It makes me so. I'm like. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> stop being such a baby. <laughs> you have to stop this let's play. Oh uh, no, we can do it. Um, okay, let's let's do this. I'm gonna do like a Will Smith where everyone thought for a second he was just doing some kind of joke and then all of a sudden he slapped Chris Rock in the face and we're like, oh, he's not joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those situations where no one knew how to react. Which this... apparently is something that happens often. Huh? So supposedly, really? <clears throat> most people who die in a plane crash die not during the crash but afterwards during the fire. 
Um, I heard this on a podcast, so I don't know if it's fully true. What um, are you talking about? So they di- people die in the fire after the plane crash because they freeze because they don't understand. Like, it's such an unusual thing to happen to you that your body doesn't... It's some kind of bias, it's like psychologists talk about it, that your body, you, psychologically, you don't know how to react in a situation even uh-huh. though you, like, should be like, oh, okay, I just need to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, because a fight or flight kind of thing. But you're, you're like, you... It's, it's some kind of like normalcy expe- expectation. Like you expect everything to be normal and that's not a normal thing to happen. So you, you kind of freeze up for your uh-huh. brain to process what's happening. And apparently that's how people die. So you just- When they freeze up. Yeah, so you gotta just get off the plane. Don't worry about grabbing your bags. Just grab your family members and you go. Or I guess if there's some kids that are stuck or whatever, definitely help them out. But you know, and don't push people out of the way. Don't be that guy. Don't be the one that's like, it's like, oh, we're just gonna. I don't care about anyone. Flight takes over. I mean, it takes over their minds. Like, I need to get out. I need to get out. You panic. Oh, by the way, this is the Star Wolf team. Look at these guys. It's Pigma. He's a pig. Okay. Andros, By the way, Andros is the bad guy. Oh, I was gonna just fill you in on the story, and I never did. Um, so these are the these are our rival teams. These are like rival mercy teams oh, okay. that work for the bad guys. They're not that tough. Sometimes okay. there's like a straggler at the end that takes forever to kill, but usually they're pretty easy. And then there, of course these guys are always getting into trouble. Boom! I took all three of them out. He's a chameleon? Yeah, he's a chameleon. And then, (laughs) as I was reading the strategy, the official Nintendo Power Strategy Guide for this game. Uh Uh-huh. And so Andros is the enemy. He's he's like a monkey ape. Um, Okay. This one character that's, I think I killed already, Andrew is his nephew, who's also an ape. And there's like a little bio for all these guys in the strategy guide. And it says... Andrew is a nephew of Andros. His favorite book is The Apes of Wrath. <laughs> Get <laughs> that's, out. That's what I said in this story. It didn't have a joke for any of the other characters except for that one. I was like, wow, he was proud. <laughs> Whoever wrote that was proud. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, this guy must have been dying to use this joke. He's like, oh, Apes, of, Apes wrath. of Wrath. It's perfect. Put it in there I'm somewhere. I'm going to drop to Zen. <laughs> Stop. Get out. <laughs> Hey, oh my god, we made it! We did it again! Yay! So again, I Fox beat it. Take it. So at the end of the level, if you see mission accomplished, that uh-huh. means you did it the good way, the hard way. If you see mission complete, that means you did it the bitch way. The easy <laughs> way. Okay. So I got a mission accomplished again for this one. So that means I did it the right way. So that one, you just have to kill the Star Wolf team before the base explodes. You have like two minutes. Okay. So if you take too long, then you don't get it. Oh, I got a medal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, the fox, the star fox babes. You know, those foxy babes. They're going to be like, oh, he's got a medal. He's so sexy. Ooh. Sandra, you see that star fox? He's got a medal. So star fox's first name is Fox. And he's a fox, by the but way. But isn't it together, like, when you write it, star fox? No, it's separate, separate words. Really? Oh. Uh, it looked like it's together. And his dad's name is James McCloud, I think. James. But he named his son Fox because he was a big fan of the X-Files. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Fox Mulder for the F- X-Files was weapon. like Chris Carter was I'll trying to pitch out. the show to the Fox Network? And he's like... <laughs> he's like... <laughs> he's like, what should we name this main character? We're going to name him James. He's like, no. We're pitching this to the Fox Network. His name will be Fox. And he's Foxy like, are Fox. you sure? That's dumb. No one's name is Fox. It's like, his name will be Fox and we'll sell it. And it worked. <laughs> I mean, the show worked, man. I mean, everyone was like, what's going on with aliens? How come there's no I shows think that's about really aliens? what was the focus, okay? We want aliens. I like still conspiracy. believe. Did you, <laughs> did you ever watch the TV show Fringe? Supposedly that was like an X Files. Yeah, yeah like I a more. It. I was gonna say a more modern version of the X Files, but then that show came out like I don't know, yeah, good ten years, years ago. Later. Wait, a few years later. I yeah, I watched it. I I stopped watching it. Uh, I think I watched it. I watched the first two or three seasons, and then it got super confusing because oh. they went into some kind of parallel world or something, oh, or reality, the upside down. And they were like uh, doppelgangers or something like that. Oh. So I was like, uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. 
Did it go the Rick and Morty route where it's like completely nonsensical, like what's happening? They're like we're in a we're in a citadel with a million clones of Rick and Morty, and it just gets super high concept. And you're like, what is happening? And then and then at the end, they're just like, oh, we'll just go to a different universe and get different Rick and Morty. So there's no consequences to anything. The, the more nonsense there is, <laughs> the more entertaining it is, right? I, I feel like that's that's Rick the and whole Morty. core of the show. Oh Rick and Morty must nonsense. Be, it must be a writer's dream because they can basically the do whatever they want. They're like, we just go to this. It's, it's almost like, oh my god, oh, it's so many things. Oh, I accidentally shot Peppy. Whoopsie, sorry, Peps. Yeah, I saved him. <laughs> also, I shot you. Don't pay attention to that. Well, you did say knock it off. Knock it off. Oh, no, go this way. Go, go, go. I was like, I never understood the titles that they would put. Like, that last one was supposed to be like Samurai Jack or something. Oh. And I was like, what does that have to do with the <clears throat> show Samurai Rick Jack? Rick Murai Jack. Yeah, it was something like that. Oh, Ooh. this is tight. Uh, tight. 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 No! Oh, fuck me. That was not... Oh, no, fuck me! Oh, no. Stop! Oh, my God. Hit everything, Fox. Why don't you? I mean, how were you supposed to get through that anyways? I was supposed to just be better. I was supposed to break. <laughs> Such pressure. Oh, my God. Get out of my way. You stupid little bitch. Something's not right too stressful. Here. Oh my god, this is way too stressful. I think I could go through those things. I think these are warp pipes. Should I try to go through it? Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, uh. Nope. Ouchies. Wow, George. <laughs> I usually don't go this now. route. Oh my god. I'm not looking good. Is my, is my, is my ship supposed to be like, uh, like blinking like that? He's telling your ass to hurry up. Okay, where is... I need a gold ring. I want a gold ring. I want you to put a ring on it. I want you to Beyonce me. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking for? You're actually looking for a ring? Yeah, I need a ring. Don't you remember these rings give me health? Look, now my health is better. Oh, it does? See in the top left corner? That's what I want, a ring. What the heck? I didn't because know Because I'm were tired for. of being single. I, all my girlfriends are married, and they don't want to hang out anymore. And I'm like, oh, let's go have a girls' night. Let's go to the bar. Let's pick up some boys. And they're like, oh, sorry. Uh, me and John, we're going to a fancy telling restaurant for, for my anniversary. So I can't go out, you to, without, out with got you to girls' marital night. marital responsibilities. Yeah, and then my other friend's got a kid. And he's like, oh, we're taking our kid to, to the new uh, Wiggles premiere show. And we can't go with you to have a girls' night. So you're on your own, Megan, and then Megan's like, fuck you guys, I want to have fun. I'm only in my 40s. My life just started. <laughs> you got to find some new single friends. <laughs> yeah. All my single ladies, all my single ladies. If you like it, you should put a ring on it. If you like it, you should put a ring on it. Am I a really good singer? You know, I... Beyonce is my jam when I do karaoke. I've won 17 regional karaoke championships singing as Beyonce. Yeah, that's a, that's a laugh. And, uh, you should use that in your improv. Oh my god. You never go to a regional karaoke championships? Oh my god. They probably do have those. I mean, like they probably ESPN, do. I've just never been to that. Like on ESPN 8, the Ocho, they have the regional karaoke champions. That's not a sport. Why would it be an ESPN? I don't know. So they weird. have dodgeball on ESPN 8. <laughs> oh, that's a little more sporty than karaoke. <laughs> oh my god, dodgeball. Okay, if, by the way, Whoa. so you have to kill this guy quick. If Slippy gets in there, because Slippy's a fucking dumbass, He'll get smacked by the guy and really? he'll crash land on this planet and you have to go save his ass. Oh, really? So that's why I was killing him really quick. You're trying to really So get Slippy was about to jump in there and then he jumps in there, he just gets smacked by that thing and crash land on Gets him. bitch slapped? Yeah, pretty much. He's like, Because he's a little bitch. He's a little bitch. Yeah, he comes in, he's like, Oh, help, fuck! And then he just gets smacked and gets knocked into the planet and we're like, I guess we gotta go save him. And so do we gonna, have to. Which I'm gonna do that anyway because I want to do the easy route, like I said. So we're still gonna save Slippy, even though it doesn't make any sense. No, fuck Slippy. Why? He's so nice. You just said he's a little bitch, so why do you want to save him? Look, if Slippy's gone, it's just me and Falco, and I hate. I don't have to deal with that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> team sucks. Buffer. Peppy's cool. 
Peppy's like an old grizzled like like fighter pilot. He's like, hey, Fox, I used to fight with your dad. <laughs> He's that way. Yeah, because he was He's originally in his. He was originally in your dad's, part of your dad's team. So he's always talking about, like, you're, you're just like your dad, Fox. I'm such a whippersnapper. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. I can't leave Slippy hanging. All right, let's go save Slippy. I can't leave Titania. him hanging, that... even though he's a real Oh, bitch. this is part. So this is the other cool thing about this game. Because you're not just in a spaceship. You also have some levels where you're in the M and F and tank. You're in a spaceship. A in a spaceship. Master. Wasn't there a, a Land Rover called the Landmaster? No, Land Cruiser. Yeah. Whatever. Land Cruiser, I think. But yeah, we're in the arid desert. I don't know why we're in a, a, a tank though. It seems like this would be just as easy to do in a spaceship. Uh, don't, don't it gives you a challenge. Don't follow I guess. me. Go, go, go. Oh, oh my I God. made it. Wow. That was just taking one. risks. I can roll in the tank. Oh, right directly into. If I want to roll directly yeah, into, roll a into pillar, the wall, that's yeah, I, can, I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. Well, it looks like a crab or something. Oh my god. It's, it takes like a million shots to kill. Whoa. I think you look better in a tank. See, look, it's <laughs> such a smart ass. Like, I gotta deal with this shit. Like, I'm the one doing all the work here. Don't fall on me. He's like, why don't you Ooh, come down here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hover. Yeah, you can hover for like two seconds. Sure be a pain in the neck. Maybe we should play the Super <laughs> Nintendo Star Fox one of these days. Bad, this one, this one's much better than the SNES one. They um, but apparently, so the SNES one was a huge achievement for the time, but it was not very good. So like, how many Star Fox games are there? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. I have um, no. Okay. Oh, did Falco just crash? Oh no, he's over there. Um, no, there is, so there was this game that came out. Okay. Um, there was for the game, oh, that's Whoa. a mine. Ooh, don't want to go on that shit. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, leave, leave those guys alone. Um, so there was two for the GameCube. One was called, um, oh, there we go, got it. Right? Free, baby. Uh, one was called Star Fox Adventure, and what that was... Um, was a game that was very different than this. Go, 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 oh, Star wow. Fox, go. Ba, 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 ba. Go, Star Fox, go. Oh. <laughs> um, so the Star Fox Adventure was a game I really liked for the GameCube, but was not, did not play at all like, uh, oh boy, those are mines. Whew, I went through the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Um, yeah, this, this is probably one of the hardest levels in the easy route to do, just because if you're not used to really doing this on the ground, it's a little tricky. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that attacks you in this one. The boss is also kind of hard in this one too, so it's actually one of the harder levels for being supposedly in the easy route. Um, anywho, Star Fox Adventures is more like a, oh, I, well, I just rolled away from the checkpoint. God, I'm so stupid. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't that say checkpoint in the middle? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. No, go. Oh my god, no, like no, no, it's a, oh boy, oh boy. Why are these pillars falling? Is this their defense system? They're like, we're gonna have pillars, and if someone comes in on the tank, we'll fall on top of them. <laughs> there, what idiot pushing designed it. this thing? Oh my god. Oh my god, stop falling, pillars, stop it. It's a domino effect, somebody must have touched it. Right. Right behind. In the yeah, beginning, and then it down. just kept going and going and going. Oh man. I can shoot this stuff in the sky. Surface to air shots, boom. Oh my god, you're get literally you're in a plane. You want me to save you while I'm in this fucking tank? <laughs> oh my god, I hate you, Falco. I hate you. Why are you all the way the fuck over there? You're I can't shoot that shoot far. Him you intentionally shoot him down. Oh. oh, he got him. Good. Jesus. Yeah, keeping these dumbasses alive is probably the hardest part of this game. I think I said that before, but it's 100% the truth. Anyway, Star Fox Adventure is more like a Zelda game. Um, it was not a Star Fox game. It was a game developed by Rare that was supposed to be called Dinosaur Planet. Had nothing to do with Star Fox. It was being huh? published by Nintendo. And Nintendo was like, hey, can you make this into a Star Fox game? So about 90% of the way through production, they just made Star Fox the main character. And nothing else ties into Star Fox, like, at all. Really? That's so weird. Yeah. I guess, that you, that's happened before, though. That's yeah. Not, not, nothing new. Made it. I got a one-up. One-up, baby! 
Oh my god, but yeah, that one's a good gun. I really like Star Fox Adventure, so I may play that one. Um, but then they had like a regular Star Fox game called Star Fox Assault, which I have not played. And then it was a long hiatus with no Star Fox games until the Wii U. Also just Starbucks for Wii U. Okay. Yeah, and it uses the, the Wii U gamepad in a weird way. I've never played it. A okay. lot of people are complaining about the way it uses the gamepad. They're like, I just want to play Star Fox. And then it uses like motion controls with the gamepad. And everyone's oh. like, I don't want Yeah, okay. apparently Shigeru Miyamoto was really working on that. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, I'm like almost dead. I need some rings. I need a ring on my... I want a ring on my finger. Let me get a piece of that action box. Let me okay, get a piece of that Okay, why don't you do ass. something instead of just talking? Because I'm like fucking... God, this thing is ugly. Take, Take out his arms. Easier said than done. Yeah. I'm fucking aim this shit. Is this like a praying mantis or something? There we go, just blow his ass or up. Or xenomorph. Oh my god, we were watching Ice Pirates. If you guys have not seen Ice Pirates, do yourself a favor and watch Ice Pirates. Oh, I got, I can get hit by yeah, his Yeah, remind him of what year that movie's uh, from. 1986, I think? 84. Yeah, so watch Ice Pirates. You weren't even born. <laughs> watch the watch the special effects in Ice Pirates, and then watch the special effects in Blade Runner, and note that Blade Runner came out like three years before Ice Pirates. And you could be like, what the fuck happened? Well, I you could tell it's got a I'm lot of very influences from a different uh, big sci-fi movies oh, like yeah. Star Wars and Blade Runner. Oh, no, I didn't hit the checkpoint, so I got to start all the way back at the beginning. Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. Oh, I can't believe I didn't hit that checkpoint. Oh, I feel like a dumb dumb. Oh my god, I'm wasting everyone's time doing this stupid desert level again. Because I don't know how to hit a stupid checkpoint. Oh my god, but yeah. Basically, Ice Pirates is is a version of Star Wars that's not very good. It's it's a cult movie, uh, you know? I, I shouldn't say it's not very good. It's fucking it's quirky. hilarious. It's quirky. It is the funniest thing, but at one point their ship, spaceship catches herpes. So you have that to look forward to. <laughs> They're basically doing like a spoof of Alien, but the alien egg was like herpes or something. They're like, what is this thing? And they're like, it's space, space herpes. Space herpes. And then <laughs> the woman was like, your ship has space herpes and you didn't tell me? <laughs> I was like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's like when we first watched, I was like, what the hell is going on? We were oh like my God. laughing hysterical. It is the craziest, most bananas movie. Actually, it's not the most bananas movies you'll ever no, see. No, I mean, but but you should it's watch on Hell a Comes list. To. Yeah, if you want to see a crazy movie, watch Hell Comes to Frogtown. That one is pretty fucking crazy. Did you watch that one with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's pretty nuts. With the sexy frogs and the bikinis. The frogs and, with the three penises or oh something. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, that was such a crazy movie. And then he's like, was gonna rape this lady, and the lady was just like was into it, right? She was like, oh. Well, she was impressed by... <laughs> by, by his raping ability? No, like, by his penises. She oh, was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> you could see her, like, move her head, like, counting it. One, two, three or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, please. That was... Oh, there's the checkpoint. Okay, so I'm going to hit the checkpoint this time. My main focus, wow, is going to be hitting this checkpoint. I did it. Oh, my God. Thank God. <laughs> I must have missed two checkpoints, because there's two checkpoints in this level. Oh, jeez, George. I thought you were an expert, man. I was just dropping the ball. Dropping the ball. If I was playing basketball, I would be like, hey, he's off the team. He keeps dropping the ball. He's be got like, but butter coach, fingers. just put me in. I can do better. I promise, coach. And he's like, oh, I don't think so, buddy. You suck at this shit. And I'm like, but coach, my dad owns the school. You have to put me in. He's like, fine. <laughs> wow. I hate my job. Dumbass kids, they never gonna win a championship. It's like, I still get paid. Oh, there's Falco in trouble again, because he's a fucking dumbass. Oh my god, of Just shoot him down. Because you fucking suck, Falco. There we go, I shot him for you. Yeah, you better be grateful, oh, wow. you son of a bitch. I guess bitch. you're good for some. Oh, look at that attitude. And I'm in a freaking sass. tank down here. Shoot his ass down. Oh, I can't get up. I may have to hover to get up there. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I like accelerated into that rock. Oh, I blew <laughs> up in the air. That was a cool thing. Oh, okay. I'm going to be taking on this boss with full health. That means. Oh, okay. No Sonic. excuses. Oh, my God. Okay. Hold together just a bit farther. Oh, my God. Thanks, Peppy. See, Peppy is encouraging. Ah. Slippy just gets Thank into you, trouble. Peppy. 
And Falco is like... So there's only one cool person to get. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, if you read the strategy guide, the strategy guide is like fucking sucking Falco's dick. They're like, Falco is a bit mouthy, but he's an ace pilot. He's your ace in the hole. He's so good. And I'm like, oh my god, do you have a crush on Falco or what? He's got a hard on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you gotta do the roll. That's the trick with the tank. That's how you dodge. Yeah, real tanks can't do that. Um, well, this is the freaking Landmaster. Maybe maybe the U.S. Army should contract the Star Fox team and be like, Hey, Star Fox, make us our tanks. Would you imagine if a tank can roll? The people inside. It does. Ha it has, like, hover things on the side. Yeah, cool. Yeah, but the person inside, like, oh, they would have to be really, head. like, strapped in pretty tight. Oh, he's using Slippy as a shield. Oh. oh my god. They're all like shitting on slipping. Yeah, why is it why aren't you guys helping? By the way, where the fuck are you guys? It's impossible this way! Oh, the sl Slippy's in his hands. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, I'm taking some. Get his I'm... face, get his face. Oh, I forgot the tail when he spins around. Yeah, this thing is real ugly. Oh my god, it's like kicking my ass. It's like a fucking sharpshooter. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. I got it. it's so hard to aim at the stupid tentacles. Oh, he, he let go of... Slippy! Uh, the whole thing like slows down when you like bomb, because it's like has to draw those traffic. <laughs> oh my god, die, die, like die. His rib cage is complete. Die. I want you to die now. This is where you die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yay! I did it! Kicked your stupid ass. I was almost dead. Yeah, oh my exactly. God. My tank you just have like... a sliver there. <laughs> I think my tank has problems. Yeah, reminds me of here. like Temtem, right? Oh my God! By the way, we just finished our Temtem play. If you are curious about the creature collecting game called Temtem, and you're like, how does this compare to Pokemon? Let me watch someone play it for 40 hours. You should watch our Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you're 96 like episodes or something. Oh my god, Jeez. a whole year of episodes. Almost we got, a year. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, you can check that shit out. I can't out believe it channel. took a, almost a year to do that. Oh my god, I, I, I had a lot of fun. I'm kind of sad that it's done. But maybe we'll do some oh, yeah, side, side quests. quests. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get back into it. Oh man. I don't know why I'm sound, sounding enthusiastic about it because. Let's hear your most most enthusiastic. Because I was like already getting kind of like, oh no, this is getting repetitious. Let's, I want to hear your '90s like video game commercial version of Temtem. You know how like in the '90s they'd be like, whoa, look at Sonic Speed! Oh my God! And then someone's like head explodes in the commercial, and you're like, I need to buy this game. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! And then at the end whoa. it was like Sega. <laughs> If you want to see something funny, you should see the 90s commercials for Kirby. Because you know how Kirby's like this cute little fluffy uh -huh. cloud ball? Yeah. They, that was not going to sell in the 90s. So they're like, we need to make him aggressive. And they're like, whoa, look at Kirby. Oh my God, he turned into a fireball. Whoa. I think I remember seeing like the commercials for Kirby. And then when you play the game, it's like the, you know, the upbeat music. It's like, boop, 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 boop. And It's like whimsical, like, right? Yeah, and you're like collecting wands and stuff. But it's like... <laughs> <laughs> we were playing a Kirby recently. What was we were it? playing the Switch one, not the new one for the Switch, but um, what was the old one called? Oh my God, I'm back. Cause I got a game over. I have only the single laser. The single laser sucks. I get the double laser. Oh my God, I'm not hitting anything. I'll cover you, Fox. Well, Falco's gonna help you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shit. They're just there for commentary, so. I guess this one had voice acting. A lot of N64 games didn't have voice acting because of the limited memory on the cartridges, but this one, they were able to put some voice acting in. Woo. I'm hitting, I need to not hit these like lasers. Oh, oh my, my god, god, you son of a bitch. Did you really just hit me? God damn whoa, it, whoa, whoa. I hate you. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, everything spins, which also makes things a little tricky. There we go. You gotta take Jeez. out all these towers, oh, and that's because what it's spinning, it's a little dizzy. Yeah, this is dis disorientating. You are not him down yeah, really? Okay, there we go. We go. We only got two more, I think. One more. Maybe I wasn't keeping more. track. What? I was expecting. Oh fuck! I was expecting you to keep track. Oh my god. You're not away there it is. Oh my god! I totally missed oh. it. Oh my god! What's happening? Oof. This is going pretty fast. <laughs> it's like a is it going fast coaster. or is it me? No, it's going fast. 
And these things take a few swings around to hit. There we go. There we go. One more now. Once you take all these towers out, you stop spinning around and it becomes a little easier. All right. There we go. It's done. It's done. No more spinning. Or yes, spinning. There's still one more. God, how many free towers are there? Where is the last one? Oh, no. There's no more spinning. Oh, there is spinning. Oh, yeah. Can I go backwards to it? Maybe. I won't let you get away from me. Oh, my God. Hit it. Hit it. It doesn't seem like you're going... In a spin. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're done. Tailspin. Tailspin. Bop, 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 tailspin. Bop, 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 tailspin. You ever watch that Disney cartoon? <laughs> there was a spot on the, the theme song for it. Bop, 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 yeah. bop, tailspin. By the way, this death. level is just a bunch of these dumbasses getting into trouble Get constantly. And if you don't help them, they Get him come. off me. Oh, Look, and now Peppy's in trouble. Like, stop it. Just fucking handle your own shit. I don't have time to constantly be helping you. I gotta destroy this. This teamwork, George. God. No. Me? I'm the best you're one. So I don't know why I have, I have these guys with me. You know when you're like the best one on the team and you have to carry the whole team? That's basically what Star Fox is. <laughs> I gotta be carrying okay. this whole team. Is the core up here yet? Uh, so this level is pretty short, actually. All you have to do is... When this thing pops out, it hasn't popped out yet. I won't let you get away from me. Oh, Peppy's almost dead. I'm trying to keep him at, his ass alive. This is a better one. It's like, he's my good partner, Peppy. Yeah, he's the only one I care about. I hate all you other people. <laughs> I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let him kill you, Slippy. Where are you at? Where are you at, baby? Oh, there, the core did appear. Uh, okay. Where, where the fuck are you? Oh, hey, help, help. There he is. Oh, that's Falco. Hey, <laughs> Oopsie. Is, is Slippy <laughs> still in like, trouble? Hey, I don't see that. Okay, so this one... So all you gotta do... Oh, you're Get still in trouble. Oh my god. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I need a better laser. I'm not working out. There we go. There, you're safe. That you're welcome. Okay, go hide somewhere, right? Yeah, get out of, if you're not gonna be helpful, get out of the way. I was like, oh. Okay, so you gotta take out this thing. You see the little yellow, the little glowy things? That's what you gotta take out. Oh, yep. Time for a little payback. Uh, okay, so let me do another another U turn here. Uh, okay. Whoa. That's a pretty cool I could just shoot bombs. Maybe that'll help take this thing out quicker. Oh, oh yeah, that will definitely take this thing out quicker. Oh my god, oh, again? Shit. Slippy, again? No, I shouldn't help you. You need to help yourself. You need to learn. If I keep saving you... Oh, no. Where is oh, no. your dumbass? He needs you. Look, I'm doing a Let's Play and I want to look professional. Or else I'll just let you die, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care about you. There's one down. Not going on. Oh, he's got two following him. There you go. You're safe. You're welcome. He's like, that's too close. He was right on my ass. Oh, and usually I like it on my ass, but too. You know. That was a terrible slippy impersonation. Yeah, you kind of mumbled it. Uh, uh, Fox, can you put it in my ass, Fox? I want it in my ass. That's how I like it. Oh my god, where? Where? Oh, oh here's a box. <gasps> the double laser. Oh, that's going to make it so much easier. Oh my god, this is what I wanted. Nice. Give me what I want. Oh my god. Seriously, Slippy? Seriously, three effing times? <sighs> I don't want them on my team anymore. I want that dumb Five pig. Five and them. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you on my team anymore. You're too useless. Oh my god, there's one, two more on that side. I see them. Uh-oh, doggy's barking. Uh, okay, here, we're going to do this for a second. Let's pause. I got to let the dog in, and then Call we'll this. come back and play. All right, friends and neighbors, we are back. The dog is happy. We had to let him back in because he was having, he was like, why did you lock me outside? And we're like, dude, it's nice outside. You like it. Stop complaining. Oh my God, I'm trying to play Star Fox. And then he, we just had to let him in in the end. You know how he gets his way all the time. No. Sounds like something you would say to your mom. Like your mom would be like, Okay, hurry up, get dressed, we gotta go somewhere. And you're like, I'm trying to play Star I'm Fox. I'm trying to play Star Fox. I don't want to go to church. I want to play Star Fox. <laughs> <Right>. God. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, I like. That happened I don't want to go to grandma's. She doesn't have anything fun to do there. We just sit <laughs> around and be bored. I want to play Star Fox. 
<laughs> she doesn't have an N64. Oh my god, all she has is literally that stupid triangle toy that they have at Cracker Barrel where you hop the pegs over each other. <laughs> yeah, that lasts for about 15 minutes and then there's nothing to do. She actually did have that toy. I remember. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? The yeah, triangle yeah, yeah. with the pegs? Play that IHOP or something? Yeah, yeah. That's is so that funny. IHOP or Cracker Barrel? Could I remember be, yeah. IHOP had them. And then, I guess, yeah, maybe Cracker Barrel had them at one point, too. Don't be back. We're not Whoa. done yet. Wow, look at all this. Okay, so this is Venom. This is Andross's. Plan. By the way, Andross killed my dad. So that's also another reason. He's trying to take over the star system. He also killed my dad. Wow, I'm getting hit by everything. Do a barrel roll, Star Jesus, Fox. there's so much going on. Oh my god, use the bomb. Kill everything. This is still easy. Yeah, so the, so the last level of Venom has... If you go into it from the easy path, it's actually an easier level than if you try to do it through the hard path. Look at that style, boy! Oh, fancy. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my god. I Real just got Maverick. a boner from that. That was so cool. <laughs> but yeah, Venom has two different entry points. You can either do a hard version of Venom or the easy... Oops, sorry, Slippy. <laughs> oh, we don't need you, Slip. Maybe you shouldn't fly in front of me while I'm shooting. He's trying to do fancy stuff, too. I oh saw God. that. Yeah, he's like, he thinks he's all cool. I'll go with you, Falco. You know I like Peppy better. <laughs> I guess I should have gone with Peppy. I actually shot Falco. <laughs> Sorry, hey, buddy. Einstein. <laughs> Alright, Falco. Let's just stick together. Because you know what? You're my favorite. I never said this to you. You're my favorite. I think you're so witty. Everyone loves your personality. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone, full of it. Everyone thinks you're witty and cool. No one thinks you're annoying. Oh, these guys give you bombs, by the way. Oh. So these guys are cool. Because they give you bombs. Sweet. Oh my god. Jeez. Wow, I'm getting hit by everything. Yeah, this one, they just hit you with a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Ooh, a lot of these guys, they, they give you a lot of health. They're generous because they do give you a lot of these rings and a lot of health here. So, so it's not too bad. You know, I'm not going to be like, ooh, this is not fair. Because it's, it's very fair. Well, I mean, because they're preparing you for the balls. The balls. Like a balls. Take a shit on your desk like a boss. Do you remember that? Take a <laughs> shit. Oh, that. It that. was like a Lonely Island video. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I did not do that right. I thought it was going to be so wow. cool. I was about to... I hate it when you do something cool and then it doesn't work out. You're like, I'm going to do this Watch to show this. off. Watch, you want to see something cool? Look at this. Star Fox formation. Wasn't that cool? <laughs> That's Andros, by the way, the monkey with the beard. It uh, looks a little bit like Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Right, sure. Except he's a bad guy. A bad guy. Jeez Louise. Is it where the Obi-Wan Kenobi, his name was Obi-Wan, and then they're like, oh, it's old Ben. It's like, Obi-Wan does not sound like Ben. Maybe he had two names. <laughs> old Ben and Obi-Wan. Old, old Ben Kenobi. He's like, uh, stop calling me Yeah, because they were like, is that, rude. Because they were like, Obi-Wan, is that old Ben? <laughs> Which, how, how would you get that from? <laughs> I guess they knew the last name. So they're like, oh, there's an old Ben Kenobi. I was like, probably him. If the last name matches. Oh, my God. Did he have family? Older brother? Uh, Obi. You gotta kill this guy. Slippy, I, he's almost dead. You're a little late on this analysis. I, I, I've got it, Slippy. You're not even in here. Where are you guys? Oh. Actually, it's the best that you're not here. You just be in the way. It's kind of three. Oh no, why did I do that? That's not. Oh, oh my god. Way to do a flip and hit every single wall, Star Fox. <laughs> right, so cool, on. real smooth. You hit him in the head. Hit him in the, oh, I gotta hit him in the shoulder. That's why I can hit him in the head. You gotta kill his shoulder first. Kill Die his shoulder. shoulder. There you go. Now you can kill him in the head. Yeah. Now the body. Now you die. It's kind of like 3D, yeah? Huh? Oh, oh, gosh. Jesus oh Christ. Jesus God. Christ. Way to go. Well, that part where he says never give up, trust your instincts. That is very Star Wars, right? That's Obi-Wan at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop hitting everything. Ah! Jeez. Fine, we can go to grandma's. I died anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I was just saying during our break to JD, I was like, I'm actually doing pretty good. And then this game just takes me down a notch. I was like, no, you're not. Yeah, you were just smacking into everything. It was oh just my like god. A, I don't know like what a happened. Pinball. There. I got scared. I was, I was not thinking straight. 
I was not bringing my A game. I was bringing my B game, and that's just not going to cut Your C it game of crap. My crap game? Yeah. Hey, C is average. That was an average game. <laughs> I'm going to hit his legs first, because those are the most annoying, I think. Stop it. No oh, one likes oh. you, robot. No one likes you, robot, Egyptian robot thing. Egyptian Go robot. back to Moon Knight TV show <laughs> with your Egyptian... Look, it does look very Egyptian now, this temple. Yeah, it does. That's true. The aesthetic. It reminds me of that. What's that arcade game that you Legend said? of the Hidden Temple. That's not an arcade game. No, That's a dork. great Nickelodeon show. No, it was like this arcade game that's got that thing that you sit on and it moves. I think it was like a jeep or something you were riding and you were shooting. Oh, I know what you're, you're talking like about. It was like an archaeologist. Yeah, yeah. What was the name of that game? What did that oh, this it? shoulder? The shoulder, I always get the shoulders last. Now the shoulders are. Now I can shoot you in the head. So you gotta kill the shoulders first. You gotta kill the rest of his body, then you can shoot him in the head. And then Oh my god, stop. Chill. Chill out. I can't I can't with this. I can't. Okay. It's like it all blends. It's kinda hard to see. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, are you not hitting him in the head? Hit a bomb, maybe I'll hit him in the dumb head. How about you Skip guys? Concerned. Oh my god, Slippy. You just. There we go. Finally, I got this stupid robot. Oh my god. Die, die, die. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It was a really fancy one, too, for the time. Because yeah, you it was would expensive. sit in this, like, Jeep. Yeah, and you would go through either, yeah, like, like an Amazon or river yeah. um, or an Egyptian the thing. Or, and their like, mummies uh, would pop up yeah. and you gotta shoot them. Yeah, I forgot. It was very Indiana called. Jones esque. What was it called? Tomb Runners? Tomb Raider? I believe it was called Tomb Raider featuring Lara Croft. <laughs> that is exactly what you're waiting for. <laughs> oh, by the way, you could do this view if you want. It's a little easier maybe for this part. It's not very useful, this view. Because it's kind of hard to see where your Arwing is. Yeah. By the way, this ship is called Arwing. 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 Yeah, you're saying it right. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Arwing. Wings, special type of wings, our wings. By the way, that yeah, um, it was this, this game was sponsored by Arby's, and they're like the name of the Arby. And then they did like Arby's Happy Meals with Arby toys. They did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little Star Fox R wing toy. Yeah, like from like at McDonald's. I don't know if they did Happy Meals in in Arby's. I know Burger King tried to do them for a while. McDonald's, of course, give you your little toys. Yeah, and their Happy Meals. So you gotta shoot him in the eye. You shoot him in the eye, and then he like freaks out and. Yeah, cause that. And then hurts. he's like, "Oh, that hurts!" And then you can shoot like, him in his oh, like, I need hand. Artificial tears. Yeah, give me some eye drops. I keep shooting him in the eye. Eye, eye, eye. Uh, looks like he's got pink eye now. Oh my god! He's like, "What happened to your eye?" Well, this guy shot like a hundred lasers into it, and they're like, "Ooh, you <laughs> should not do that." And then once you kill his hands, you just gotta finish the robot off. Oh, this part sucks. You gotta just use the brake and stay off to the side and hope he doesn't suck you in. There you go. He and if he doesn't suck you in, you have free shot to just take him out. He wants to suck you. He's like, I want to suck. I think you shoot him in the eye again. Or is it the... Oh no, it's the chin. There we go. Die, die, die. Boom, 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 oh. boom. Boom. Wow. Blow you up. Oh, whoa, this is whoa, ugly. whoa, 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 chill out. He was a robot, by the way. So if you do it the easy way, you don't actually kill Andros, you just kill a robot. So you gotta do it the hard way if you want the true kill. Oh, really? Kill, kill, so you kill. You know what that means? We kill, just, kill, kill. We killed Andros, you know what that means? Now it's time to do the hard part. No, I was just gonna say, we beat this MNF in game! Oh my god! <laughs> That's it. This is a short game. Well, yeah. Well, it only seems short because I'm a freaking badass at it. And I, mean, I was so good you said that you were I did it so, so quick. That's why it seems short. But no, we also did the easy route. The harder route takes a little it, longer. As the name suggests, it's a little harder. I don't know if it really okay, takes longer, but you die some you more. So it's a little harder, I guess. Maybe. It's a little harder. But I mean, if you die more, that means it takes longer. Yeah. Because you did. gotta be bouncing back. So yeah, a little bit shorter than Temtem, just a little bit to beat the game. <laughs> oh my god, and we get to see these beautiful end credits, and then oh, that's Mother Fox, Mother mm. Ship. I forgot what this, this ship was called. I think it's called Mother Fox. Mother that doesn't Fox? sound right. 
Okay. Uh, but we got to thank Shigeru Miyamoto for this. He, Shigeru Miyamoto like, did all the Nintendo games. I guess Takao Shimizu directed it. But you actually said something that was very apt and I agree with too when you, we first, when you first saw me playing this. You said the music sounds like Zelda and it does sound a lot like Zelda music. Yeah. There's a very similar, I mean it's the same composer, Koji Kondo. He did like a lot of the Nintendo games. He did. He of course did Mario as well. But yeah, the music sounds very Zelda-esque because it's very like operatic and grand. Uh -huh, yeah, it's got yeah. this real grandeur. But it's so beautiful. Oh my god. It brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> okay. But yeah, when I was a kid, like, I would get game overs. I couldn't beat it, like, in one shot like this. It took me a while, because, you know, this was, again, early in the N64 days when we were still trying to learn how to use the joystick. And Back then, like, you had patience and time. I didn't have the guide either, so a lot of this stuff of, like, knowing, like, oh, this is how to go the hard route or the more difficult route, I didn't really know that stuff, so I just had to kind of... Um, I just kind of kept playing and I would keep doing the same easy route over and okay. over again. So I'm not as good at the hard route. But yeah, that's our that's our Star Fox Let's Play. Um, we'll definitely come back and do the hard route. If you guys want any other N64 games to see us play, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'm curious to... I'm curious to see what else is there. I mean, like I said, I never had an N64, so... This is all, um new to me yeah i'm trying to think what else is a good one i mean mario tennis is good we gotta play some mario tennis that's that's a sexy game right there sexy oh, playing so sexy. tennis oh my god princess peach in her tennis outfit oh Oof. Oof. yeah no i'm just kidding i think she <laughs> just wears her normal pink dress <laughs> yeah i don't think they they got any tennis outfits all right what? now talking about star wars this is like directly from the end of star wars right here and it's such a small room. They're like, hey, we couldn't get a bigger room for this. Yeah, <laughs> like, at least no, we're using. Windows. <laughs> it's kind we're of using claustrophobic. We're using conference room HH. Conference room A is reserved uh, for uh, <laughs> royalty. <laughs> yeah. I for... would be honored to have you as part of the Cornerian. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Heck oh. yeah, we're staying mercenaries. Great Fox. He's ready oh, great go. fox, not mother fox. <laughs> that sounds better. Mother, <laughs> mother fox. <laughs> Hello, mother fox. Oh, They're watch off. this coming out from the background. Just like, an, just like, just like a beautiful erection coming out of the background is none <laughs> other than great fox herself. At some point, <laughs> it's gonna um, come out. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> Is there what somewhere? are you talking about? Where is it? I like the background there. That's cool. Yeah. I wonder. I should create like a screensaver. I wonder if they have like a clip of this without the credits over the top, and you could just use it as like a screensaver hmm. of like all this, like the. Well, you could definitely just clip out when they're running, and then just set it on the loop. Because that's pretty much what's happening. There it is. Oh my god, it's coming out. It's coming out. Oh, it's getting so... Oh, it's... oh my god, it's so beautiful. All right, Already guys. running. We gotta get on. We gotta... This is how you board the ship. It takes off and you run and jump on it, I guess. What <laughs> no the idea. Um, but guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Till next time. Bye. Air Force?